Hello and welcome to EG Math. We will solve question number 62 of OG Verbal 2nd edition by using EG Math 3 step process. In the first step, we will understand the meaning of the sentence. In the second, we will evaluate the errors in the sentence. And finally, we will review all the answer choices to get to the correct answer. So let's begin. Parliament did not accord full refugee benefits to 12 of the recent immigrants because it believed that to do it rewards them for entering the country illegally. Now this sentence is not written in a very good way to express the meaning clearly. So let us first infer the intended meaning here. Parliament did not give full refugee benefits to 12 of the recent immigrants. It believed that if it did so, it would be rewarding these refugees for entering the country illegally. Now let us evaluate the errors by splitting this sentence into its clauses. So here comes the first clause. Parliament did not accord full refugee benefits to 12 of the recent immigrants because here Parliament is the subject and did not accord is the verb. After because we have a subject verb pair which means we have a clause here and it reads it believed that here it is the subject and believed is the verb presence of that indicates that we have another clause that reads to do it rewards them for entering the country illegally here to do it is the subject and rewards is the verb now to verb form to do denotes the intention by merely having the intention the parliament could not supposedly reward the recent immigrants. Hence, an action is needed so that it becomes like rewarding the immigrants by giving them full refugee benefits. Let's take an example here. To study diligently bears fruit is not correct because to study is merely an intention. Just by having the intention does not bear fruit. This can be said as studying diligently bears fruit this expression is correct because studying is an action note that study is not a verb but it's an action that leads to another action that is bearing uh, th that is of bearing fruit so studying diligently leads to the action of bearing fruit so this expression to do leads to an idiom error in this sentence also, simple present tense rewards suggest as if immigrants are generally rewarded as a matter of practice for entering the country illegally. This is not the intended meaning of the sentence. The sentence uses a hypothetical situation to convey that if X happened, then it would mean Y. Hence, we need conditional would to convey this hypothetical situation. So this leads to the verb tense error in this sentence. Also, pronoun it has been used to refer to an action accord full refugee benefits. This is incorrect. A pronoun can only refer to a, no a noun or another pronoun. If we indeed need to refer to an action, we should say doing so instead of doing it. So this leads to a pronoun error in this sentence. Now let us run the POE to find out what's the correct answer. Well, as already discussed, choice A is not the correct answer. Let's take a look at choice B. Well, choice B repeats the same verb tense error and the pronoun error as in choice A. So that makes choice B incorrect. Uh, choice C has the same meaning error as in choice A. And also it has the pronoun error. Here pronoun this cannot refer to an action as explained in choice A. So these errors make choice C incorrect. Well, choice D is the correct answer because now to do has been changed to doing. It has been replaced by so and uh, we have conditional would to uh, clearly talk about the hypothetical situation that the sentence uses. So choice D is the correct answer. Well, let's take a look at choice E. Choice E is not correct because it has the same meaning and the pronoun errors as in choice A. So as we found out, choice D is the correct answer for this sentence. Let's take a look at the takeaway messages now. 
Modifiers must be worded correctly to convey the intended meaning of the sentence and conditional verb would must be used to refer to hypothetical situations. The concepts tested in this sentence have been covered in EGMAT concepts level 1 types of modifiers and level 2 verb conditional.